What is going on guys? Welcome back to Hartford to the Premier League. This is episode 32. Wow, what what a what an episode I have for you guys. Just have a look where we finished in the league. We finished third um with 46 game pl- games played, 25 wins, 8 draws and 13 losses. Um a goal difference of plus 15. We finished on 83 points. Um two points ahead of fourth and three points behind second. Mangotsfield and Brackley actually um, had a game against each other. That was the their like their both last games of the season. It was against each other, so um, that actually ended in a draw, which meant that Mangotsfield, who were already ahead, um, actually ended up winning the title and getting automatic promotion. Unfortunately, we couldn't do the same thing, and we finished in third. I'm still really happy, actually, though, with finishing third. Our squad isn't the best. Um, there's a lot we can improve on in the squad. Um, a lot of positions that still need to be um, improved a little bit. Uh, we might need a new right midfielder, defending on Anthony Watson. He's had quite a few injury problems. He's actually out injured right now. Um, George Nash seems like an okay replacement, but he's not really got the potential to play in many leagues higher than we are now. Um, up front, also Simon Trebs is probably, I don't know, I want to say that we do need to get a new one if we go and get promoted. Um, if we stay in this league, it's fine. He ended up with 25 um, goals in this season. We'll have a quick look at the end of season stats. So first of all, we look at appearances, Scott Booth, um, James, then James Roach, then Andy Musto. Um all on above 50 appearances, which is really decent, really nice to see. Um, top goal scorers, Simon Trebs actually got 24 in the end, not 25. Uh, Spencer Bennett finished with 13. Andy Misto finished with 9, followed by Adam Griffiths and Wayne Moore. The highest average rating was Simon Trebs, followed by Seamus McGeorge, who is our new young prospect, or uh, youth prospect. Um, then Anthony Watson and Spencer Bennett. Four players above... Um, an average rating of 7, which is really nice to see, really good to see. Um, quite happy about that. We will have a quick look at the opposition. Um, if we go to fixtures. So, um, might as well quickly look at fixtures. I think the last episode, it was the Brackley loss, um, maybe. Uh, but we beat Weymouth 4-3. Seamus McGeorge, Anthony Watson, Tom Scott and Simon Trebs getting the goals there. Unfortunately, we were 4-1 up and we conceded two goals in the second half. As you can see from the terrible um, ratings of our players, 6.1 for Andy Musto, 6.7 for Tony Walker, 6.1 for James Roach and a 5.9 for Scott asford J. Um, so that was quite disappointing, but luckily we just nicked that win. 2-1 against Welling, Spencer Bennett and Simon Trebs scoring the goals. Same again against Gosport. Um, it was 4-1 up. We were 4-1 up at half-time. This time, though, Spencer Bennett got sent off, um, stupidly got a second yellow, and we were on pr- under pressure for the rest of the uh, second half. And uh, they got two goals, but we just uh, contained and held out and just nicked the win also. Um, then we lost against Clevedon 2-1. James Roach getting the only goal for us. Unfortunately, we lost against Scarborough. This kind of killed our promotion hopes. Um, at this point now, we're around four, five, six points behind the league leaders. And um, it helped a little bit with this 2-1 win against Royston, Simon Trebs, and James Roach getting the goals in that. Um, but unfortunately, we could only manage a two-all draw against Kettering. Um, it wouldn't have mattered in the end. If we had won that match, we had we would have still finished third. But if we got those two wins, so got three more points, and then that win, then we would have been on 88 points, which would have meant that we won the league. So it was the Scarborough match that was the killer for us. Luckily, or not luckily, um, Scarborough didn't finish in the playoff spots. So that's good, I guess. We're better than them. That's a little bit of revenge for them beating us. Um, but we're going to go straight into this match. Um, let me just quickly look at the team selection. Fairly happy with that. Tom Scott on the bench. And now uh, we'll bring on Tom Scott instead of Adam Griffiths. He hasn't been great this season at all. 
Um, he had a long-term injury, came back and never really um, set the world alight at all. I'm happy with that though. I'm going to submit that team. Obviously, it is in a neutral ground against Waltham Forest. Um, they are playing just a normal 4 4 2. They're two goalkeepers on the bench. And it's a bit weird to see that. Uh, we'll do the opposition instructions. This is one for the fans. All right. Come on, Hartford Town. This is a really, really important match for us, guys. Playoff semi final. They should know how big this match is. They should know that they want to win. I will just quickly pause it because I just realized it's on key commentary, in, uh, only commentary instead of key. Um, we're actually going to go to extended because why not? Let's make these a nice, nice long matches for you to watch. We'll probably do an episode of match um, depending on if we get through. But we'll make it the nice extended highlights. So that you can see a little bit more. McGeorge plays it to Scott. Can he finish? He does. Wow. It's almost like he just passed it into the back of the net at the end. Really, really weak shot. Um, keeper saved the first one. It deflected straight back to him. And he almost just nudged it straight in to the back of the net. Well, it probably didn't even hit the back of the net. That's how slow it was going. Um, they're going to get a goal back. No. Good save though from Booth there. Nice cross in from Waltham's Forest, left hand side, and luckily for us, they couldn't finish it. Nice clearance there from Bennett. Come on. Good collection there from Booth. Very nice. So it's really good that we've taken the lead early on. Um, I want to say that when we take the lead early on, we actually do um, more often than not win the match. I know that's quite often. There you go, Marsden with a second goal. Um, making it 2-0. Thank you very much. Um, but I think we do have quite a high percentage of games won after going um, up first. That is because, to be fair, I do go counter a lot when we are 1-0 up, in the second half at least. Um, but still, we're, we're fairly decent at holding a lead to a certain extent. Um, I don't want to say that now while we're 2-1 up. I will say that at the end of the match. Um Right now, we just kind of want just a bit more attacking pressure. Maybe get another goal before half-time or at least stay 2-0. Um, make sure they do not get anything before the half is finished. Perez, though, is through on goal, but it's a really good save from Booth. Probably should have done better, but Booth is always in the right position. And he e that is such a nice collection there from Booth. Thank you very much. I really um, feel quite safe with Booth and goal. Burton Shaw is going to come on for the injured Nash. Great, another right winger injured. Burton Shaw, though, is at least a very decent player. Um, quite a decent youth prospect. I know the whole team's young, but like I think he's around 18, 19, which is still young. Um, team average age is probably around 20 now, 21 maybe. We have a few players. I think John Edwards is actually 31 now. Um, who is our oldest player? Um, I think James Roach also is 24. So I think the average age is in and around 20 years old, which is still extremely young, but that is what it's like when you start with a team that are all 16 or 18, I think it was actually. Come on, good cut out there from Musto. Unfortunately, McGeorge can't find anybody. Good steal though from Bennett. Tony Walker's messing around with it though and he takes it past him. Tony Walker, you are not should not be losing the ball in that position. Um oh, good save. I thought that was a save from Booth, but it deflected off and it's a goal kick now, so it must have deflected off the post. Um or hit the side netting. So this guy's finding too much space, so we'll mark him and close him down. That looks like he's going to go out of play. Maybe not. Tom Scott looks really slow moving for some reason. He needs to kind of get involved in the game a little bit more. McGeorge is through. Oh, we should have scored. He almost got it past the keeper, I think. Um, the keeper kind of looked like he missed that. But maybe he just, he just snapped it in, hit the side netting. Fortunately, we couldn't go 3-0 up. They have decent play down the right-hand side, I must admit, and that is probably a deserved goal. 
Perez for them. Do not think... Oh, it's Loic Perez. He actually has a face on my days. Yeah, he's finding way too much space. Um, Going to probably make a few substitutions in a second after this highlight. Trebs whips the ball in. McGeorge, can he finish? Come on, somebody. Oh, no. What? Oh, my God. Tony Walker is so bad. And Hills, oh, my days. A long ball that just sends Hills straight through on goal. Where is the right back? Like, what? where's the defence completely? <laughs> Burton Shaw now plays it long to Trebs, but unfortunately the highlight ends, which means we're going to make a few substitutions. So in terms of condition... We have Tom Scott to take off, but he's doing really well. Jim Miller's actually not playing well at all, so Norman Bell will come on instead of him. Lowest is Tony Walker, obviously. He is going to come off. I know it's early. I don't want to... Do I want to make it? He is playing that badly. Mustow is going to go on the left-hand side. Graham Howell will go on the right. But that just means that he does not have to play. Wow, I, I saw he was playing bad. I know he was moving a bit weirdly, but a 6 rating. I mean, when we're 2-1 up, that is just shocking. McGeorge, can he do something here? Bennett, very good save from McLaren. Scott whips in the ball. Unfortunately, Marsden couldn't get on the end of it again. Come on, Trebs, play McGeorge. Oh, how did he not score? We need a goal. Come on, Hartford. Scott, that was a really quick ball. Send it back to Scott. Why is the highlight end there? That's just stupid. Okay, so I'm quite nervous and Hills is through on goal. Luckily, he just shoots from distance for some reason and misses the target. We're going to go counter. Not going to stay control because they are looking very threatening. Oh dear. Oh my days. Side netting. Roach really should have cut that out. Sorry if I'm only commentating on the game, guys, but I'm extremely nervous for this match. Oh, Miller just across the goal. It's a great save from Booth, apparently. Yeah, this might just be a... a what's, the, what's the word? It might just be a commentary about the individual match um, just because of how important this is for Half a Town. If we win this, we go into the finals, and then obviously the final sends us into the Skrill South if we win that. Two minutes to go. Come on, that's got to be it. It is Hartford move into the final. The final of the playoffs. Congratulations, we're in the final. Well done. <laughs> that was really tense in the end. Loic Perez actually played incredible. It was a really, really even match. And we just nicked it. Oh, God. Right. Let's have, I think, the final draw is tomorrow. Yep. So we'll see who are, we are playing in the final. Current season profit and loss is actually 11.7k. That's really nice to see. Really good to see that we've made a profit. Um, actually, I think that might just be... That might have... We might have finished the season like in terms of financially... But then it says games team stats there, so I reckon it's still for this um, entire season. Season budget though is was twelve k before, or remaining budget was twelve k before, and that's gone. So we'll we'll have a look. Hopefully this um, hurries up. Just want to see who I've got in the final. Okay. Right, Hartford win. Hartford in control. Okay, guys, the playoff final draw is about to begin. Team Northumbria play. Greys. Needham Market play. Brackley. So that is us. We Are we going to be at home? Well, I guess not really at home. We play Loughborough Uni. <laughs> so the Loughborough Uni team with John Disney as their key player. He's, all, he's actually okay. He's quite decent. Decent physicals. Um, we play the Loughry Uni in the playoff final to get into the Skrill South. Okay, guys, that's going to be it, though. That is going to be the end of the episode. If you did enjoy this awesome win in the playoff semi-finals, then remember to drop it a like. 
and let me let me know down in the comments if you think I'm going to beat Loughborough Uni. I think I will. Um, I'm really confident about my team right now. But let's see how it goes, okay? Um, and if you, of course, make sure you watch the next episode where we, we will be playing Loughborough Uni in the promotion playoff final. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you guys on the next episode.